Hey there everyone, my name is Hitesh and in this video we're going to talk about Adobe XD. This video is just a startup and in this video we're going to talk about what is Adobe XD and what's the difference between Adobe XD and Photoshop and how you can install that and some important stuff about Adobe XD. So Adobe XD is a relatively new product in the lineup of Adobe Suites and you might have heard about the pretty much same kind of tools like maybe uh, Figma or maybe Sketch and moreover Sketch is much more popular. So Adobe also introduced their Adobe XD and uh, the good news is that it's a cross platform and you can have it on Windows as well as on Mac and it's really amazing. So what the Adobe XD does and how is it different from Photoshop? That's important question and is being mostly asked. Now I would say that Photoshop is like a bigger version and you can do almost anything in that. Also sometimes it's being compared by Illustrator as well. Now the serving purpose of both the three these three apps is completely different from each other. In the Photoshop you mostly mess around with the photos and their pixels and how enhancement of that. Surely it can serve the purpose of Adobe XD but there are so many options in there that probably a prototype designer or a user experience designer don't need that and especially in the era when we are talking about mobile apps and web app designs and making simplifying experience of that. Now of course you can also compare it with Illustrator as well but Illustrator has like gigantic options which again are not at all needed for a design experience guy or somebody who is designing prototype or maybe a low fidelity or high fidelity frameworks and stuff like that. So Adobe XD fits right into it uh, where even a programmer or the person who is having less experience with the design can also switch into it and can design his own screens, login setups, some buttons, some uh, vector icons and all these things. So I think it's a perfect point for every programmer and you should have that. But again, designers can really nail it down and can do like marvelous piece of things with that. So coming on to that, uh, you can get it from Adobe website, adobe.com. And if you just look out to this product, they have a lot of products, honestly. And Adobe XD is one of them. And you can also get it re like really cheap. They have like 676 rupees per month. It almost breaks down to like $10 per month for just one product. And if you already have Adobe Suite, uh, like all of them, you probably might already have it. So this is what it has, uh, really a good thing that you can have it. And one thing that you will love about Adobe XD is this bottom like, like see what you can do. Now what they're saying is, uh, this is like amazing. Like if you are an avid user of Sketch, just like me, I have been using Sketch for almost three years. Uh, you can also import all of your assets from Sketch into Adobe XD as well as uh, it's always cross-platform with inside apps in the cloud of Adobe. Like you can import your assets from Illustrator or Photoshop obviously in the XD. That's the whole sense of having this. But the integration of the Sketch import, I love this. Now I don't have to like uh, really be working on two different apps. I can import all of my Sketch assets into XD and they just work like that. So this is all a little bit introduction about it. Now let me show you how you can have it. It's actually pretty easy. Now if you just go on to the top of your cloud, uh, Creative Cloud subscription, uh, whether you have just one app or all of them, you can just click on the all apps and it will just say install, just like my Photoshop is saying right now. Uh, it's a little bit new setup machine. Uh, but you can just click on this install and that's it. That's pretty much it. You have got your app here and it will appear in the installed apps. And you can either fire that up using, hit, uh, if you're on the Mac, you can hit command space and can write the name in the spotlight. If you're in the Windows, you can go into your start menu and, and open that up. Now my advice is always to open that up using Creative Cloud, which is far more easier. So let's just fire this up and click on open. Now, the very first thing that you see on your screen is gonna be this screen, which is let's design an app. And yes, basically that is. It can also be really amazingly used for designing your web markups and web designs as well. I'll talk about that uh, probably in the later videos. But mainly the focus is on the app design and this is what we'll be focusing as well. Now, whole lot of things about this particular interface and what you see after that as well. We will be exploring it like quite in a lot of detail, but I think this is a good introduction. Now you have set up the ground that yes, it's different from Photoshop, Illustrator, it's a completely new thing, as well as easy as well. So I hope you are interested now and in the future videos, we're gonna explore every bit of Adobe XD. So that's it for this quick short video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.